so good evening friends we'll start with the, our today's session yesterday we have learned one important footnote in fact this is the footnote which is explained in the sixth edition of organ of medicine in detail in fact it is a in, it is an addition uh, in the sixth edition of organ of medicine which was not there in the fifth this is in general understanding regarding the concepts of dynamics in detail by hanemann and people were expecting those things from the hanemann because in the fifth edition he has introduced the concept dynamic concept but which was which were not thorough enough in fifth edition and everyone was expecting him from the sixth edition and hanemann have satisfied their need through this footnote and he has explained what exactly he wants to say about the concepts of dynamic and he starts this footnote what is dynamic influence or what is dynamic power and he has given few examples that whenever you have to consider anything dynamic and which you have to believe then there must be two important things which are necessary the first important thing there should be a cause and second important thing there should be a effect if these two things are present then in between medium if, even though it is invisible you have to believe on it and in the similar manner you have understood scientifically there is a moon energy which works at the level of tide and ebb which happens in the sea then you have decided that there is a magnetic energy which is produced by the north and south pole of the magnet and attracts the iron field in with in in between medium which you cannot visualize and in the similar manner human being who is made up of this dynamic entity attracts the disease in the similar manner and his disease will be cured with the help of dynamic medicines in the similar manner both things you have to believe on the basis of effects produced by the cause but in between medium you cannot find it out natural disease you understand only on the basis of signs and symptoms you cannot find it out in between medium in the similar manner when you prescribe the homeopathic medicine which also doesn't have a medicinal content in the material form still it works only on the basis of cause and effect and these concepts he tried to elaborate over there we have read only first paragraph from this aphorism let us start with the second paragraph from the same apor same footnote footnote number 7 so what he says in second paragraph for instance the dynamic effect of the sick making influences upon healthy man as well as dynamic energy of the medicines upon the principle of life in the restoration of health is nothing else than infection and so not in any way material not in any way mechanical just as the energy of the magnet attracting the piece of just as the energy of magnet attracting the piece of iron or steel is not material not mechanical one sees that the piece of iron is attracted by the one pole of the magnet but how it is done is not seen the invisible energy of the magnet does not require mechanical material auxiliary means hook or lever to attract the iron so he is simplifying he is trying to simplify the things more and more and giving the examples of magnet which already i have discussed with you the magnet draws to itself and this acts upon the piece of iron or upon steel needle by means of purely immaterial invisible conceptual inherent energy that is dynamically and communicates to the steel needle the magnetic energy equally invisibly that is dynamically so whenever you put a magnet near the steel rod and even if it is at a distance some magnetic energy gets transferred which you cannot visualize with your naked eye and that steel rod can carry some in magnetic energy in it and it itself attracts another ion piece and this is possible 
so nothing medium no medium is there no material medium is there and still it transmits its own energy into the piece of iron or into the piece of steel and that also carries the similar type of energy which which is there in the magnet so how this happens this happens only because because the invisible the middle medium which is invisible but which persists and which you have to believe and which you have to believe only on the basis of cause and effect in the similar manner whenever the person who is sitting in front of you all of start all of a sudden vomits immediately you feel nauseated and you start feeling the nausea, feeling like a vomiting nothing enters in your body in the material form but still it starts it it induces similar type of effect so what is this this is nothing but the conceptual energy which works on your mind at the dynamic plane producing its effect and ultimately expressing it in the in the similar manner so this concept which he tries to explain this is what is called as a dynamic entity the steel needle becomes itself magnetic even at a distance when the magnet does not touch it and the magne magnetizes other steel needles with the same magnetic property dynamically with which it had endowed previously by the magnetic rod just as the child with smallpox or measles communicates to near untouched unhealthy child in an invisible manner dynamically the smallpox or measles that is infects it at a distance without any anything material from the infective child going or capable of going to the other to be infected so now he explains that how the smallpox get transmitted or measles get transmitted or chickenpox get transmitted or in the recent phases covid covid virus gets transmitted you cannot localize you cannot find it out the in between material but still it gets transmitted even at a distance he is correlating it from the uh, from the magnetic energy in the similar manner the dynamic disorder also transmitted in this manner a purely specific conceptual influence communicated to the near child smallpox or measles in the same way as the magnet communicated to the near needle the magnetic property in a similar way the effect of the medicines upon the living man is to be judged substances which are used as medicines are medicines only in so far as they possess each of its own specific energy to alter the well-being of the man through the dynamic conceptual influence by means of living sensory fiber upon the conceptual controlling life principle the medicinal property of those material substances which we call medicines proper relates only to their energy to call out alterations in the well-being of the animal life only upon this conceptual principle of the life depends their medicinal health altering conceptual dynamic influence so now he is giving you example of a medicine for example homeopathic medicine when we give the medicine for example if you are giving a belladonna for the purpose of proving if you give the belladonna in mother tincture form which is the action which happens at that time if you give belladonna mother tincture a 5 ounce or 4 ounce of belladonna to a prover what is that effect is it a primary action or is it a secondary action what do you feel anyone if you give belladonna mother tincture 4 ounce or 5 ounce to the prover what type of action it produce yes salma jyotish has mentioned that this is the primary action definitely because it is direct effect of the material belladonna on the human body but now instead of a belladonna mother tincture you had have given belladonna 200 for the purpose of proving now it never contains belladonna 
because we have learned according to the Avogadro's hypothesis, after 12C potency, we don't have any material medicine inside it. So when you give the belladonna 200 to the patient, it doesn't carry original material belladonna. And if you don't, if your medicine doesn't carry material belladonna, how this immaterial belladonna will going to act? Whether it is a primary action of the belladonna on the human being, or is it a secondary action of the vital principle against the belladonna stimulus? What do you feel? Dynamic action, hai, like in what is dynamic, whether it is a primary or it is secondary. It is secondary. It is not primary. Primary happens when it is a material. Here, it is just a stimulus which doesn't have a material. So, it is a dynamic action is there. It, there will be a reaction. It is not action. And that's why whatever the materia medica is there in our books is the reaction of the vital principle against that specific stimulus. So, if you're going to prove the belladonna, it will produce the features of belladonna only because that stimulus is of a belladonna, the reaction is against belladonna. If you give aconite, the reaction is against aconite stimulus. It is not direct action of the aconite on the human being. If you give aconite in mother tincture, then it will produce the primary action and produce the features of aconite. But at that time, patient may die because aconite is the poison. But when you give aconite 200 or aconite 1A or aconite 30, it, con it never contains the original aconite material. And that's why it is a reaction. It is just a stimulus against with the, the, the react body react. And they are stimulus specific. So it depends upon what it what is the stimulus and reaction is against that stimulus. So stimulus is specific to that uh, reaction is specific to that specific stimulus. So it never happens that if you give aconite and patient shows the belladonna features, it is not like that. It is like that on one side of you, there is one, your brother is there. On one side of you, your sister is there. In front of you, your friend is there. And someone talks to you out of them. If your brother talks to you, your reaction will be against the brother according to him. You never react according to the, yeah, there is no confusion. If your sister talks, your reaction will be against the sister. If your friend talks, your reaction will be against your friend. Because here the dynamics works. It never ha happens that whatever is asked by the, your friend, you will answer to the, your sister. It is not like that. The reactions are against the specific stimulus. And this is what he wants to explain over there that whatever the medicines which we used to prove, they are very specifically a stimulus and with which we develop our materia medica. And that materia medica is nothing but the dynamic materia medica. Just what he says, just as the nearness of a magnetic pole can communicate only magnetic energy to the steel, namely by a kind of infection, but cannot communicate other properties, for instance, more hardness or ductility, etc. And thus, every special medicinal substance alters through the kind of infection, that well-being of man in a peculiar manner, exclusively its own and not in a ma manner peculiar to another medicine as certainly as nearness of the child ill with smallpox will communicate to the healthy child only smallpox and not measles. So this is truth. This is what anyone wants to explain. A person who comes near the smallpox child will going to carry a smallpox. He will not carry a measles. In the similar manner, if you give aconite stimulus, it will react, the body will react or that human will, will react to aconite stimulus and produce the features to that stimulus only. They will be not of a belladonna. It varies. There is an inequality. So this, this is what is called as a dynamic influence and dynamic reaction, dynamic power. And this is individual specific as well as stimulus specific. These medicines act upon the, uh, act upon our well-being only without communication of material parts of the medicinal substance, 
does dynamically as if through the infection. Far more healing energy is expressed in a case in a point by the smallest dose of the best dynamized medicine in which there can be, according to cal calculation, only so little of material substance that its minuteness cannot be thought and conceived by the best arithmet arithmetical mind than by large doses of the same medicine in the substance. See what he says. He says over there, it, whenever you give a stimulus, that works dynamically. It is not a material. And you, when things are not material, you cannot measure it in the arithmetical measures. You cannot measure it in the similar manner as you can measure it with the material. So whenever you are considering the allopathic drugs, those are material, you can calculate 500 milligram, 600 milligram, 650 milligram, or you can measure them in 5 milligram per kilogram of body weight. But when things become dynamic, you cannot calculate. You cannot calculate there, that there is a medicine which is 5 milligram inside it. You cannot measure. There is no measurement for the dynamics. You cannot measure the love. You cannot measure the anger. You cannot measure the irritability. All those things are immaterial. So in the similar manner, whenever you are considering the homeopathic medicines, they are the dynamic one. You cannot measure it. It is when things are not measured, then the question of judgment comes. Then you have to judge. Then you have to judge the susceptibility. You cannot measure the susceptibility. Susceptibility is not the entity which is material, which you can measure with the help of measurement. Susceptibility is also an entity which is dynamic. So you, either you have to think whether susceptibility is normal, either susceptibility is high, or either susceptibility is low. And according to susceptibility, you have to think about the potency. Here again, a question of judgment comes. So there is no specification or specific law, which is very fixed with the allopathy. Because whatever medicine is given, it is given in material form. So answer varies when you deal with the materially and answer varies you when you deal dynamically. For example, you are sitting over there and there are seven mm. birds made up of a mud which are kept over there. The one over here, one over here, one over here, one over here. Seven birds are kept. And you are sitting in front and you have given a gun. Question is, how many bullets are necessary to throw them away? Minimum, how much bullets are necessary? Seven. Seven. Okay. Any, any other answer? No. Why one? Why one? Question is why one? They are made up of mud. They are not made up. They are not living beings. Minimum is seven. Answer is very perfect. Everyone's answer is seven because it is material. Now the question arises that if they are living beings, seven birds are there, then how many bullets are necessary? Now question is different. Now again you are fixed with one. I said nothing required. You make just, they will run away. If someone says, if, if someone says two, because one was deaf, your answer is correct. So it varies from individual to individual. It varies from that specific situation. Here the question of judgment comes. Here the answer never becomes fixed when you deal with the dynamic. But when you deal with the material, the answer is very fixed. And this is the, this is the thing when one has to understand when you deal with the homeopathy, with the dynamic medicine, you are 
potency is always a question of a judgment and that's why it is called as a dilemma you cannot come directly yes this is only 5 mg per kg of body weight you have to give the belladonna it is not like that here you have to think whether belladonna should be given in low or whether belladonna it should be given in medium potency or it should be given in high potency it depends upon the situation it depends upon many factors and this is what he wants to explain over there sir hello ha huh? hello sir i have a doubt regarding you, you potency you put your question over there i will answer at the end far more healing energy okay. is expressed in a case in point by smallest dose of the best dynamite medicine in which there can be according to the calculation only so little of material substance that its minuteness cannot be thought and conceived by the best arithmetical mind than by large doses of same medicine in substance that smallest dose can be can therefore contain almost entirely only a pure freely developed conceptual medicinal energy and bring about only dynamically such great effort as can never be reached by crude materi medicinal substance itself taken in large doses see this is what he wants to explain over there when you give material medicine it will act only at the material level it will going to produce its effects at the material level it will not reach where the disease is it will not reach to the dynamic plane it will not cover the disease dynamic vital force it will not bring back the vital force again into the state of it but this medicine which you have prescribed in material form that medicine only in large doses will going to affect at the physical level but if you give the homeopathic medicine and that medicine which specifically made up of dynamic doses enters inside makes the difference at the dynamic level affects works at the dynamic plane removes that dynamic disease and it brings back the health because disease lies in that similar plane over there and this thing he wants to highlight over there that why a dynamic medicine is necessary to treat the dynamic disorder further he says it is not in the corporeal atoms of these highly dynamized medicines nor their physical or mathematical surfaces with which the higher energies of dynamized medicines are being interpreted but vainly as still sufficiently material that the medicinal energy is found more likely there lies invisible in the moistened globule or in its solution and unveiled unveiled means open ugad liberated specific medicinal force contained in the medicinal substance which acts dynamically by contact with the living animal fiber upon the whole organism without communicating to it anything material however highly attenuated and acts more strongly the more free and more immaterial the energy has become through the dynamization so this is this is the very important thing which he tries to explain over there that the medicine it is not like that like a, a material medicine in allopathy for example if person has a fever and if you are choosing the paracetamol you either you have to choose it in material form in the 650 mg or 500 mg then that material should be swallowed then it gets absorbed from the gastric mucosa then it goes into the circulation and then it starts producing its action like sweating so that is this is this is the way it it used to work but if you have chosen right medicine for the same fever for example you have chosen the belladonna belladonna 200 that means you have given the belladonna in the dynamic doses and given to that patient depending upon his susceptibility and you just put it inside the mouth it is not the belladonna which should be get absorbed and then it goes through the circulation and then it will going to work 
the belladonna which has been put inside the mouth are just an inhalation of the belladonna fumes which you are, you have given over there it starts working it works so nicely that it it starts working in the similar manner it no there is no need that some material of a belladonna should enter and that it will going to produce its action but this effect which acts directly on the from the sentient nerves which are there inside the mouth which directly works and reacts the human body reacts against that belladonna stimulus and this is the difference between the material medicine and the homeopathic medicine this is the difference between the what is material disease and what is dynamic disease and this is the difference between what is material medicine and the dynamic medicine one has to understand it there i have explained i think i have explained to you or i could not forget there was one patient who was who to whom i was treating with lachesis he was a typical lachesis patient for asthma he came to me and i have started him lachesis because i have asked only one question to him what is your problem and next one and a half hours he was talking so i i stopped him after one and a half hours i understood understood your case i will going to prescribe your remedy and you, he settled with like as is after two three months one day he called me and he called me and he said doctor i want to meet you immediately i'm suffering from severe 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 coryza and i'm continuously sneezing since morning and there at least four five handkerchief they are completely wet since morning so i have to meet you he was staying nearly about 30 35 kilometers away from sangamne so i said yes do come and he came and he came from with his car and he is sitting in front of me and he was finding it out yes he is all right and he said what has happened i don't know since morning i was having a running nose with sneezing and this much handkerchief and now it is showing so good everything is good and the way he talked like this and he started getting the sneezing again and then he then he explained yes, this is what happening so remedy was very clear remedy was so clear with me so what is the remedy remedy is alimsipa because the core is aggravated in a closed room op- better in open air and again when patient enters into the warm room again person starts sneezing so i put a drop of lmc pa one drop on his inside his mouth and i started preparing the medicine the moment i put it within a few seconds after 15 second 20 seconds he said and a sentence came from his mouth doctor jadu dai it's a magic i'm feeling better and there after he was talking he was like as if he was talking half an hour with me and there were no more no no more sneeze no more running of water how it worked and how it worked within 15 seconds that action of the homeopathic medicine is called to be a dynamic action of the homeopathic medicine and this is one he wants to clear with you that a dynamic disorder requires a dynamic medicine to be treated and last paragraph regarding this specific uh, footnote he mentions over there is it then so utterly impossible for our age celebrated for its wealth in clear thinkers to think of dynamic energy as something non corporeal since we see daily phenomena which cannot be explained in any other manner if one looks upon something nauseous and becomes inclined to vomit did a material emetic come into his stomach which compels him to this uh, to this antiperistaltic movement was it not solely the dynamic effect of the nauseating aspect upon his imagination and if one raises his arm does it occur through a material visible instrument a lever it is solely the conceptual dynamic energy of its will which raises it and this is what he wants to explain this is what is called as a dynamic influence and dynamic reaction the things happens all of a sudden things happens and body reacts and it works through these phases so if you see a certain picture the conceptual energy catches it and your body starts reacting 
and it reacts in such a manner that it used to produce its effects directly. And this is what is he wants to explain over there. What is dynamic influence and dynamic um, power? Very thoroughly and very nicely he has explained about it. There was one question, sir, once you said that susceptibility decides potency. So if a patient got fractured or injured, but obviously the pain is intense at that time, then at that time, should, should we give the higher dose of the remedy? And if patient comes later, when by the time the pain is better and little less, then we go for lower potency of the same remedy. Question is that first, when the things are, we are talking about the dynamic diseases. Fracture, is it a dynamic disease? This is my first question. Is it a dynamic disease that all of a patient, all of a sudden person was sitting and all of a sudden he got fracture internally? It is a dynamic. So it's an injury. It's an injury. So is yeah. it a dynamic disease? No. We, when we are discussing about the dynamic disorders, the application varies. When you are thinking about the dynamic application varies. Second important thing, at that time, if first listen, make a habit of listening. This is too important. If the patient comes to you in an agony and he is, he is having a very severe pain because of injury, then ultimately, whatever the medicine is required, depending upon his susceptibility, depending upon his presentation, signs and symptoms, whatever you choose, it might be hypericum, it might be arnica, it might be sympatum, it might be calcarea phos, it might be ledum pal, what type of injury it is, it depends. It depends, it is, it depends upon what is the problem, not only susceptibility. Susceptibility is one parameter. You should not just prescribe only based on the basis of susceptibility, not at all. There are many factors. You have to take into consideration what medicine you are prescribing. Then you have to take into consideration what, what you are treating, whether it is a pathology, whether it is a immaterial thing, whether it is a dynamic thing, whether it is a problem at the mental level, many factors you have to take into consideration. And then you have to reach to the potency. Susceptibility is one of the parameters with which you have to go. So keep it in your mind that susceptibility is not only the parameter with which you go. So according to your question, when it, it varies, you cannot fix it. It varies. It might be at some time you might require remedy in higher potency. Sometimes you might require in lower potency. If patient doesn't complain of a pain, then is it necessary to give him a medicine? My question is that if patient is normal, now there is no more pain, are you going to find it out a remedy for him? He comes to you for the purpose of some problem. If problem is there, then you have to treat. If problem is not there, you don't have to treat. So this is too important. So my question is actually that if a person is in injury at that time, what does uh, what what we should do? Like uh, in cases of fractures, obviously the person is uh, injured at that time. I was asking. Uh, and you second thing. Hmm. 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 And second is. Second thing is that if you have a time, like you said, calcarea falls, or something like medicines, so after that, after one hour, after one hour, what should we do with that time? So what should we do with that time? We have to give calcarea for bone, so then the potential of that time will change. That's the question. Who is giving calcarea for bone? So it's about bone injury. I mean, we will discuss that in tomorrow's day after tomorrow's session. Keep this question because we have less than minute time. 
skip this question and okay, i will sir. clear your concept in monday session you should ask that okay. on monday thank you session, so that we'll discuss because time is not there at present okay thank you being there mm, all yes of, sir all of you will meet again on the monday and attend tomorrow sessions with dr gaurang's platform it will be a feast for all of you okay thank you everyone